I don't know, you see me? Spoils my twerk. You see me? My man, we don't play this year, so. Time for deal with your bellows, you see me? You see me? Yeah, my bell is like a warm maid. I don't know, engineering thing. I wish I engineering and innovation, you see me? Mm, so. Build me like one device car. I'm going to cut it, you know. Actually, I'm going to mark it. And then I cut it, you see me? Yeah, so. So I think I see grind over there, so I owe them, man. Yeah, man, I say things so, like man. The yeah, sad thing is that I cannot hold it and deal with it at the same time. So I have to pause the video. Maybe when I cut you off, I show you off, you see me? But that's a grind for now. So you think so, man, I owe them. You have enough to deal with the one thing, you know, man. I owe them, man. Mm -hmm. Drop right off. <sighs> yeah, man, so that's how you think so, man. Now nah, I play this here, you know. Mm -hmm. So you have to just do some measurements and then you see where you go from here, so. I say I have to deal with man. You have to, you have to cut in some house because you look funny, kind of fatter, you know, fatter than inside here. So, so you have to get cut if you make it work. A little bit fatter. It's so over this I would have to cut and then little bulge part. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna just take off a whole of this. So bam. 
cut off that and then use sheet metal cut to back over. All of them places have to cut like an engine and go in back some more, you see me? Mm -hmm. We make space in the engine be the same way. So I saw you think set man, I would them man. Now I'm playing man. As me say, work hard to make you finish come on see you drive, you know. Man see you drive, see fuel line them yeah, so everything come up by front already so I just see the simple you chop back fuel line and thing and get it started isn't it? Mm -hmm. see you there watch it alright it look like thing full of lock man thing of a lock turn all the way over there so it full of lock like a caterpillar you know then tractor they will be up you know yeah man it full of lock like a caterpillar there mm -hmm. so I think for set man don't know Rock and pinion well hot and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think for set man work still a go and see him way. Just the gearbox and the engine line up here and everything and so you see me. But when a day for sort out here and so mm -hmm. get a lever for him show so everything lever. I mean I tell you you know one half by even one centimeter half. No sir sitting bad that man come and tell you if you put stress on the clutch you will drop clutch and it broke out you see me all of them things that I can't bother with that if that happened I got to cut back it well and well it all over so I ensure my measurement them right and everything before I start putting nothing on it you see me yeah so I saw the thing set but I do my calculation them I do my measurement them and so so in theory it should work you see me in theory it should work so I really that me I look on you now. So I say thing set. Mm. So I think set man. And this I clutch for feet. So mm -hmm. push up your and thing. Good way there man. Alright, so you don't know that drift I see you see me? So we back again and thing. But when go and everybody when ask me what happened and I did something but my phone did drop and mash up right drop off and all stuff and the phone mash up and all of that something there so if you find in that first couple of minutes of video I will see all of that video before this video that I only file when I have saved because I do all of vlog number five right except for the part where I will show you right now where the welding I will go and all of that something there. Right, so that's what I have when I cut the box. So that video do for in a July. But my phone mash up a little bit in a, in a July. And all the video files that I have gone for it. And I have to use the money when I have to use well the box. I have to use if you get back a phone in which this is a phone I have use. So that's how I'm there right now. Um, not much has been done because as I say, money when I have to use the box. So I me use. But right now, I'm going to show you what I'm going. Um, Oh, me actually get the box to where it is right now, and so so that's how I go on. I don't know why back wheel them here, eight inch, eight inch fat. So them fat, eight inch rim, um, rim them. And I know deep they shine out, but that's how mad rim them. You see me, eight inch, eight inch them. So them fat and nice, good for all traction all of them something. So that's how I go on. So I show you what the full hundred I go on for the box. So see what I go on now. So this is how I catch the level. I don't mean, have a dial gauge or not. Let's see if I can see the clearance. This is how I'm good for you now. One LG G4 may have a record at 4K at least at 30 FPS. This is how uh, I can tell you know all that bad. I'm not to get back on G4 but they must still have it. But this is how I go on. But see what happened you now. This is how the drifter. <laughs> Line up in box and so I don't have no bad dial gauge, you know, don't know say a primitive technology. You know, so I'm sure I rename it, suppose my turk to primitive. I'll be a primitive technology, me used to get me thing you now. So, this is an axa blade. I don't know how thin an axa blade is, but I say I'm going to use the thinness to catch my measurement. So, this is what I do. I put the axa blade on that. This is a welding rod where I'm going to use well, the aluminum welding rod. And what I do is turn this, the entire rod me turn it and anyway book me i'll pause the video and just turn it a little bit all right so me so what me do is me turn it go right through on the entire circumference um come on so the entire circumference 
are the, the gearbox, right? And ensure so the clearance is focus you see it the rod touch it so once the rod touch it i'm gonna go right around that show say level as i said i have no dial gauge because dial gauge people would have used or whatever else they have if you check that if you ensure say the box no um lean so me catch my measurement them and me do it like that and so right now I balance and everything now i'm gonna broke clutch or nothing we don't check the internal the internal part of it already and that centered the spindle centered in nice so everything good so right now it's just welding once it well we're good and i hit that for now so that's how i go on now get the box well and then we have a look on the rest of the video which involves putting the box on the car and so so other rest on that that's how i go on mm -hmm. I actually jack up back the car off the ground because when I bleed out the brake and so I deal with the hydraulic key brake I run back the brake line then because since men do the hydraulic key brake and so I change around the brake line them and thing so now I put them in back and I pump up back the brake them and so, so I have brake right now all four wheels have brake alright um, the engine now we well, are going as I said before so this is a bonnet extra steam man you will live in I cut out some piece side for make it less lighter so see what I go on here this is a new in, um, exhaust manifold where actually my cousin Billy for me you know. my cousin Billy for me and in take care of me and I talk about me want to get rid of it but for now I will make it stay like this now the bad lift bad lift already took out the engine because I got a machine shop and I will go well up the box and thing line the measurement you have to carry the engine so you get your exact measurement and you don't know no broke clutch business you want to take one go mm -hmm. front mounted arm um, Exhaust, my cousin Billy for me. Oh, this. Yeah, man, so. And that's how I go on. So, front mounted exhaust will come out. Have my clearance already, that well check up. As men I say, men cut in here. It will clean up better, because men just cut if you get a test fit. But men cut in that the engine can go inside more, because my Billy that the engine push inside of the car. That's how my Billy. So. That's how I go. Jinga machine shot, line up your box, well it, and I'm supposed to come in now and catch the engine mount them, line up the engine mount and do some minor welding and thing. And that's supposed to be it. So once I line it up and so, give it a one start. And for the first time, engine is going to a car, start, and suppose my torque will look nice. I would have man. <laughs> I don't play this year, yeah man, you can't do a grow and thing So, that's how you think that if you put oil in a diff, you know Oil up with diff and so, I buy oil for the gearbox already So, I deal with the engine, my service engine already New oil change, everything all of them So, I don't want no rings or nothing, I don't burn I don't see no smoke come out of it and so So, I don't trouble it as yet So, that's how I go on So, put in the file Gearbox aisle and that, and the engine so I can drive. Me catch me mount, so I'm gonna use make me mount rubber there. Mount rubber that already. It's me. Bad like polyurethane. No strain, so that I plan for now. So, touchy, the machine shop, get the thing well up, and then when I see a video with me, uh, catch back the, um, the flywheel, them all of them, something. So, that I think for now. Yeah, man. Oh.
ver. From the machine shop, you know. Apparently, gearbox well, well up and thing, you see me. You know, too pretty, but I do what I supposed to do, and it's stronger and everything. Mm -hmm. So, I put on back the flywheel, line up clutch and everything, and put on the gearbox. You see me? Mm -hmm. So, so the thing, say. So, I that how I go on for now. Mm -hmm. So, I find a place to put the phone while I talk. The flywheel to specs and the clutch to specs and everything. Yeah. Alright, so. Put little eye on the boat some already. So, now I start them to specs. That's where they came from, factory. Since I don't run nothing more than factory settings for now. So nothing. I mean things say the factory settings can stay up there a little while anyway. You don't have to put on it. So you if you run more horsepower, you know I'm gonna put parallel wheel bolt. You know just more to upgrade the bolt them to some higher strength material so you know cut through them. But the specification will still stay the amount uh uh foot pump. So that's how I go. Mm -hmm. So, so I think so. So, get the torque wrench. Don't know torque wrench are for bad, you know. Casing and all of them bad things, so, you know. How would it? I'm a spec specialized tool. Eh? I'm going to make one tool for it, you know. Wait, eh? Make a tool for you to stop the flywheel from growing. You see me? Just a simple design, but it works effectively. I don't know how that drift that thing set. Mm -hmm. So, since we're on that side, yeah, go. Then it grow. See? Yeah, I'll go full pan that in our can go now, yeah. And then if you ask you what I'm going to move the gearbox. Alright. Alright. So that's a 65 year load. I hold them man. So one, two, you have to talk them in our sequence too. So you go this up, this up, this up, this up, this up. You see me? So the next one. Pressure plate both them in the pan, you know. See, we can talk them up to specification. Alright, so I'm done. Tighten up that already. Alright. Mm -hmm. So then we go to 14. 14 foot pound. Alright, so I'm there, 14 foot pump. So, Alright, so I'm there, 14 foot pump, it's supposed to be everything good, I you know. I got my specialized stall if you keep it straight. Mm -hmm. So, so that's how you think, so you see me? Mm -hmm. Just forward in from the machine shop, you see me? So, time for putting the engine in a car.
Yeah, so I'm going to use this lift in the last one, man. So maybe I'm going to use an engine lift, but no, I'm going to use this lift. So the thing set now, I take off the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold. I upgrade the lift. So right now, I add an extension for it so I can hold more weight. It bend on a little bit, but that's okay. So, so the thing set. So I deal with the bottom half and thing, seal up it. It's well good. Mm -hmm. So that's how the thing set right now. So the thing set. So we are going now put in a car and so to see the next video we are coming, you know, with me a fast forward and think. I will take a long time. So maybe I fast forward it down to a couple of seconds. So that's how the thing set. Mm -hmm. Yeah man, so big up the bad lift same way, see me? Yeah man, you don't know. I engineer it we see an innovation. Yeah, the lift did put in the engine. So <sighs> me take time I do what I do right now, forget it. Start it up. I just put on back the exhaust manifold because I have to take off if you put in. Um I have to cut this. Cut up it for um for make the engine go on it. Because when he, he did a book pan, he never go under. So, right now the engine is in. When I say in, I mean it in. Yeah, so if you just make back him out, then come across, make him out over this side, and that's it. And I'll start wire up back. See, in the if you put on back. So, and that's how I go. And I have to do some little modification because I owe a box stay. So I have to cut out back this hydro brake when there So I have to remove the hydro brake So I have to mount it somewhere else So I have to cut out one hole because this did a touch Because the one ends he raised up the box higher The ladder engine was much lower So the one ends he kind of look a bit taller than the one ends he about half an inch taller So because of that The, um, the buffer rubber for the transmission for the gearbox Did a touch pan this So I have to cut out the entire part I, so I go build back something like a bit higher so the buffer rubber don't touch money. So I that I go on in a gear still. So see it there, it don't touch nothing. So I that I go on. So right now the world first one NZ ladder is literally and completely finished at the moment. You know, too pretty, but I don't know. I just like a fabrication left and it done. But the world first rear wheel drive one NZ conversion was done. In a Jamaican backyard. So we have UC in Bolt, the world fastest man. Chile and Fraser, the world fastest woman. And right now, the drifter, the world first mechanic or engineer, whatever you want to call me, do the world first one in Z conversion right in my backyard with primitive technology. All my shit, me will cut this. Sit down, all the rest of my shit with a hammer. I right, will cut your own. No bad technology or nothing. You see me? Mm -hmm. Simple thing. Put up the car for so on rim. Use me like old time engine lift. And that me used to get in there. So this will show you people. No matter your age, no matter how much experience you have, because enough man say I couldn't do it. I have been a mechanic for a few much years, 30 years before I can do this. You see me? Enough say it couldn't happen. So no matter your age, you see me? Once you're dedicated and persistent, you can do anything, people. Mm -hmm. Enough man said this couldn't happen. Man said I couldn't do it. And see, eh? You don't. It take a while, yes, because money was an issue. You take one wine for money for the man and tell the line, you know, something cheap. Everybody knows when they say in the car world, the car world is not cheap. You see me? I want a very expensive hobby. So, I saw you think, say, but you don't know, see, eh? I eat that. The world first one NC rear wheel drive conversion. Done right here in our Jamaican backyard. We put in our 2105 ladder. Mm -hmm. See, eh? 2105 ladder, world first one in Z conversion, rear wheel drive. Mm -hmm. Thing well, mad man. <laughs> so, right now, we supposed to catch the engine mount, them and so see, push right them there. Engine mount. Um, and build one gas tank out of the ladder. Um, gas tank, so I'm turning now off myself. So, see, if you will. The fuel pump, so I'm just boring top of it, so you have to sit down just like that. See the fuel in here, 
Is everything set with us around so current tweet and the one in one in the getting fuel and it's supposed to get and everything so <sighs> it should start so I try to get it started I have a loom and everything so I wipe up back again um, I think my battery run down because a long time in a start you know a couple months so I check out my battery see if it still have a little strength and it's supposed to do that now mm -hmm. so I hit that for now man I hold them man we now play this in a paper mm -hmm. that drifter saying now nah, I'm play yeah man so that's so the thing set man yeah build me just build them you yeah. hold them on my drill simple thing get some rubber some tough rubber bore all through them and this go over just like that and that is an engine mount right there two of them and um, yeah, build um, see mount cover, this will be mount cover and this will be bottom of my mount, the base so that I go on right now mm -hmm. so that I go on, so as me, the build continue me continue the video as me can in between the work but, so that look a science experiment should I see they start work already see, okay, no, no. This even me do it, does me? In theory, the citric acid is supposed to take off a rust off of it. Does me? So I don't remember how use my on tomorrow. See, eh? see some of the acid start shining up already. So, the citric, the citric acid is supposed to take off a rust off of it. So I'm crazy when I do that in Sydney. So, the little thing that I made a swak. You see how they, you see how they get shine? Yeah, man. So, the material, then I have to make the mount. You see, put them in a little solution. If you take off the rust, which it work. You see, man. Some of them just want to rub off with a brush and then good. So, that's how you think, see. Clean money, you see metal, look how it shine. I look at dirt, the panic, because they're in the pan dirt, you know. We should not even put it on top of the car. It's a rust, you know. I'm gonna take them, get my steel brush, and rub them off. Mm -hmm. That's how the thing set to hold it. You have to have a little science thing to you, see me? So they shine up, you know. Kind of blurry from this. But then it rusted before. Well shine, well pretty. You see me? That's a magic of citric acid. So throw that drift and I have no grinder, because I'm a grinder mash up. The bushing in there, you know, bushing, you brush them like them bun out. Because enough work you like a grinder doing it, every cutting over and panic car. All the material I grind out of putty. So, that's how I go on. So, I nice up my material, and I'm not on a rusty material, and the nice to start off with rusty. Material to make mount, you see me? So, that's how you think, say. So, now I have my material to make it mount. I want to make one lightweight mount. Because weight is a big issue, see me? So, I make my mount light as well. So, with this bar, I go well to the chassis. That is a 3 quarter inch, a 3 inch stick um, metal plate. So, that is going to well to the chassis. This is engine mount that I made. So this is going to go here, then I'm going to have some bars from here to here to keep up the engine. As, as I've said before, I'm making it lightweight to save weight as much as I can. Take up a, a piece of iron out of here, a cast, cast of metal thing. I mean, I tell you about 20 pounds. So, anywhere you can save weighted weight. Is it me? So, that is it. So, that is how the engine mount will look. You have a nice up, because it's dirty now, so I have to clean it back again and then put it down. So you have a nice clean block, nice block, you see me? So that's how I go on. So I have well up here now and continue from there. My engine mounting with a pan.
knock off a little flux off. Yeah, hey man, so see what I go on here. This is how it was, he, he mounts to us, look. Because I'm a lightweight mount. Simple and easy. Tap me, tap me. I'm going to screw off, you screw them off the engine. And screw off your the rubber. And get a proper welding. So that's how I go on for now. Simple and light, nothing too extra. Alright, so see it on our paper. Engine well gone in. World first 1NZ rear wheel drive. Transmission and everything line up. Gone through. You see me? Completed. Watch your clearance. Watch your tolerance. What do you mind? So that drifter stay in a man. Extra, you know? But the tolerance, I mean, I'm not, not touching, I'm not, not rub when that drifter work, you know? You see me? So see the engine mount them there. Then light and nimble, each of them we like about half pound or a little less, little over half pound. So, you see me, so I don't know nothing heavy. You don't know a regular car mount, we are three, four pound, you take them off. A two man have to take off car mount. Some of them, you see me, and every car, but majority of them, you mount and you bracket and you something. See how my bracket them are mount, light and nimble, save a little weight there, so I can see how much pound after that. You have to reduce your pound them and save as much pound as I can when you are fabricate and build things you see me so that's how things say so the worst the world first one in z mount uh here bow mount engine rear wheel drive setup was built in a jamaican backyard you see me toyota engine in a 2105 ladder yeah so that is it for knowing a paper in the next vlog i electrical me have a deal with and so and so to so get this started, I think I will drop the next vlog soon, maybe in the next two weeks since I so long I don't post, I will wait one month to drop vlog I will drop it faster, so I saw the thing said eh? Yeah man, so I remember share it thing people, see me? Share it on Instagram, share it on Facebook, share it everywhere In a WhatsApp group, when I have a WhatsApp group, them share it, see me? Mm -hmm. Gearbox will line up and thing, everything ready, you hear that? Clutch ready, everything ready, you know. Break the panny already. But me have to move the hydro brake, and I cut out this way hydro brake when they. So me have to build our next bracket for the hydro brake. You see me? So that is our next. All of them something are coming in the next video. So I saw the thing set. Clock ready, everything ready, you know. Car does I say me ready. Does that the car I say me want to drive? You see me? <laughs> yeah, man. So I'm gonna follow that drift up on Instagram. That is D A and drifter d r i f t a once you type in that i have to come up all right you don't know spools matwork at the group so s p o o l z matwork m a t w e r k once you type in that even from google i have to come up you see me because i saw things set you don't know anything set man i would have yeah man so like me always say like share and subscribe post it everywhere me out